Well, it's my uh, honor and privilege to get a chance to talk to a man who is uh, no stranger to our listeners in Hillsdale County. Uh, This is a guy who uh, pitched at Reading High School. They won a state championship in 1981 and has gone on to coach for 22 years at Coldwater High School. He has a master record of 453 and 323. That is unbelievable and all sorts of other uh, championships and honors during that time. And he really got the ultimate honor Sunday night in Detroit as he was named to the Michigan Baseball Hall of Fame. We want to welcome Randy Spangler to the program. Randy, how are you? Good. I'm great. I'm just sitting down in the bucket watching a 12-and-under baseball game and going to try and coach, talk, and do it all. Well, I, I know you can multitask, Randy. You've been doing that pretty well for quite a while now. Uh, first of all, congratulations on the honor. It's much deserved. Well, thank you. It was uh, really nice to get, and, uh, you know, not many people get it. And, uh, you know, it's nice to have that. But uh, like I heard from the legendary coach, Pat O'Keefe, he always says, uh, I never uh, I never made a play myself, so the kids did it. But so we're having fun with it. It's nice, and we're, you know, life is good. So, How did you find out, uh, Randy, that uh, you would be inducted into the Hall of Fame? Well, there's the nomination process, and you you know you got to have some longevity, and uh, you got to have 20 years in, and I think amass uh, 350 victories or something like that. And uh, a player, my first year, uh, actually the head coach at Quincy High School, Brett Almond, uh, uh, was checking it out, and you know after playing and coaching and doing everything, he decided he would uh, nominate me, and then it goes through a process, and then I just was fortunate enough to be selected with four other gentlemen. We're speaking with Randy Spangler, who's the head baseball coach at Coldwater High School. On Sunday, he was inducted into the uh, Michigan High School Athletic Association Hall of Fame for baseball. Uh, Tell us a little bit about the ceremony. Uh, What were some of the things that uh, occurred during that uh, ceremony event? Well, it was uh, it's a nice banquet. They have a banquet because it's in conjunction with the high school all-star team where they take the best 36 uh, players from the state and divide them into two teams, kind of the... uh, Detroit metro area and a little bit of the southeast area and then they uh take the outstate area and then they have an east west all-star game so they invite everybody in there have a nice dinner and then uh they announce all the uh players the coaches and then they uh, go through the hall of fame stuff and we get to get up there and have a little bit of a speech and then uh are recognized and then they announce the mr baseball players so you know it's really a nice thing and then on monday night during the game at comerica park we go back there again and then they announce every one of us so so it uh it worked out really well and was a lot of fun so so uh you're going to be uh you already did the comerica park thing or you're going to yeah that was on monday okay night, yeah. gotcha so, yep so it was really nice yeah i guess so now i'm looking at your career here randy uh, we had talked a little bit earlier today uh, according to my simple math, you've coached almost 800 high school baseball games. Is that amazing uh, to even consider? Uh, yeah, probably when you put it in that perspective. But it really, you know, I guess it still doesn't. It seems like it was yesterday. Uh-huh. And like I said, Brett Allman there, it was, he played in the summer for us that first year. And, uh, you know, it just flies. It just flies. So it's, uh, you know, it's just a neat deal. And, you know, we've had a lot of great kids go through, win or lose, and, uh you know, you just hope that uh, you taught some kids how to play baseball so they can be here like I am, you know, coaching their sons and trying to teach some good things. Well, you got a great uh, start uh, when you look back at what you were able to do at Reading High School, uh, pitching for a state title back in 1981. What did you take out of that experience? Oh, well, you know, you played for Jack Spillo, who did just a, you know, a great job of preparing us. We had so many good players in our class, uh, you know, that year. We, I think we started seven seniors, so it was it was pretty neat and uh you know to have all those guys and uh you know be able to play hard and you know be fortunate enough to win a state title and uh you know that's my goal you know, as long as I go I also do a little officiating in basketball and I've worked a state final there played on a state championship now I'm just looking to coach that state championship team but we'll see how that goes well when you look over your 22 year tenure at Coldwater obviously you've had some incredible teams uh, you've won all kinds of championships at the district and regional level what do you think was the team that was closest, Coach, uh, as you look back to, to making that ultimate goal? Well, we uh, we did make it to the quarterfinals, and we got a, we had a bad break there in, uh, I believe it was 1995. And then, uh, you know, so we were like 32-5 and five or something. And then uh, 
the next year we started out, we had 31 wins in a row. We were 31 and 0 and then lost the last game of the regular season. And then, uh, we ended up uh, losing the first game of the district in 40 minutes on, and didn't strike out. So most of the time you remember those uh, things that don't go so well. And, uh, you know, that was probably the closest we've been. But we've won some districts and been in some regional finals and been there. So it's been fun, you know, and, and every year. Even the years you don't have a real good team, you know, the kids are still good. They're still fun to coach and still try and work to make them get better as the season progresses. So, you know, all of them have some special memories, but that was probably the closest those two years. We're speaking with Randy Spangler, who on Sunday was inducted into the Michigan High School Athletic Association Hall of Fame, and uh, he's our guest tonight on the Time Out Show. A few years ago, you were actually invited to to coach a junior Olympic team. Uh, Can you tell us what that experience was like? Phenomenal. It was great. It was in St. Louis, Missouri. We got to play at Bush Stadium. And uh, they take uh, the four regions, north, south, east, and west. And then we, uh, you know, take those players and then we play like double round robin for eight or nine days. And then they pick the actual uh, junior Olympic team from it. So uh, we were just taken care of like kings and uh, got to see a lot of great baseball players and, you know, just be a part of it. And, you know, hopefully you just take it with you and try and learn some things and, and go from there. So it was a lot of fun. You know, at the high school level, uh, there there's an awful lot to it to be a successful high school coach. Obviously, you have to deal with parents and administrators. Uh, sometimes some politics uh, can can factor into the situation, and yet you've been able to do it for 22 years. How have you been able to kind of walk that line during that time? Well, I think uh, if you say some things, you know, you, you do some things wrong, but hopefully...